you know what's crazy? I've been seeing a bunch of uh like social media posts saying like the situation in in Palestine, Israel is a cause of U.S. government funded this and that, and like I feel like <laughs> it's funny because like we're saying this shit now, but like we saw this happen when the fucking the one point something trillion bill showed thousand hundred thousand dollars going to Israel. No one said anything. Yeah. Yeah. And now they're saying so. It's like, bro, didn't you see them? Like. They literally showed we're giving a shit ton of money to other countries and not the people. And now we're seeing the effect of all this bullshit. So back before World War I, we had some shit called the Ottoman Empire. I don't know if you guys ever heard of yes. them. And basically that was, that span around that area, obviously where current day Israel is and a couple of countries around it. And the religions within that, that uh, empire were mostly Arab and Christian and a little bit of uh, the Jewish. After World War One, that shit split apart. People that followed the Jewish religion, they wanted to be recognized as a state for Jews. And once the Ottoman Empire fell, well, what happened? These all little countries split apart. So I think they wanted to kind of ha- have their own state, but outside of Europe. Britain was in charge of that territory at, before World War Two, and I think they gave they gave the area known as Palestine to the Arabs. But I think they tried to make it for uh, both, um, I guess, both groups to coexist. I guess they weren't they were not uh, happy with it. Pretty much, all you have to know is that both groups wanted their obviously independence. Both groups weren't independent until after World War Two. What ended up happening is the British promised land to the the Arabs. They promised land to the Jews, and they promised land even to themselves. And they couldn't figure out how to make it work with between all of them. After World War Two. They put that problem onto the UN. So they're like, United Nations, y'all figure that shit out. United Nations made, like, let's say this is Israel or the area known as Israel. They're like, all right, this is for the Arabs, Jews here, and Arabs here. And they made it look like a jigsaw puzzle. The land was divided, but it was like sectioned off in different spots for different people. So they weren't happy with that either because they felt, from the Arab perspective, they felt like this was just another kind of piece of European colonialism. So the nations around, at this point, I think it was just called Palestine, were pissed. So I think it was Jordan, Syria, Egypt, uh, maybe Lebanon. They got pissed and they actually attacked. Israel actually won this battle. What was, I think this is the West Bank up here, but also the Gaza Strip and the peninsula right down here before Egypt comes in. So then, you know, that caused even more conflict because they're like, all right, you know, you guys displacing a lot of Palestinians, like all those dudes become or people become refugees going to other nations. So it causes even more conflict. So the UN, I think, kicked in again to try to find some type of resolution. And Israel ended up giving back the peninsula. They gave back uh, the West Bank to Jordan. And I think I think they kept the Gaza Strip. Pretty much from then on, all you have to know is that it's just been a conflict between between land. Israel identifies as a as a nation and they declare independence and everything but the arabs don't want to recognize them saying that that land was theirs to begin with they were placed there and they actually took the land from them and they're saying like we were here we we made our our pretty much you know we made our state we gave you we tried to work with you guys and now you know you guys don't want to like play ball so that's kind of like the conflict and now it's at the point where like it seems like Israel's kind of just given up on trying to reason with Palestine or, or I guess vice versa. So they're actually like settling into areas of the West Bank, which is in Palestine, saying that like this is our this is our territory because you guys aren't a state. That by itself is illegal in the international community, but the counter argument is just what I said. It's not a state. So that kind of like leads to Palestine what, is not a state? No. Is, what is Palestine? Palestine de- de- isn't a Depends thing. who you ask. Yeah, it depends no, no, who you no, no, ask. No, 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 no. On a map, Palestine doesn't exist. Depends no. on the map. There's no place called Palestine? I mean, there's a place called Palestine, but is it? it it's not, it, I don't think it's like a recognized country. That's the whole issue is they're trying to declare a state that's for themselves. Why, who that's runs, why, who runs that's why Palestine? They're, that's why they say free Palestine because they're trying to say like yeah. free Ten, this the, group of people from the Israelis. Okay, yeah. so in Israel a way, they're runs like, Palestine? In a way, they're occupied by Israel. And Israel like does everything for that country. Like, so what I'm trying to say is like, Taxes that are paid from Palestine, from Palestinians, like all this stuff in that area goes to Israel. 
like like any type of police force. It's it, those are Israelis. Like, well, there's there's Palestinian like militants and there's Palestinian like government. Yeah. So they create. So Palestine ha- has created their own entity. I'm assuming. Yeah, like the way I understand it is Palestine has their own kind of territory, but it's occupied by Israel. And the issue is like Palestine wants to, well, claims that 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 land is theirs. They need to be recognized as a state. Um, and Israel is invading into their land. But the U.S. placed, not the U.S., the U.N. placed Israel in that spot? Yes, the United Nations placed them there. Why did they put them there? Was there a reason they, why they did they, this? No, they divided the land for Israel and Palestinians. Well, technically, at that point, I think they were part of Jordan. So when they did that, they didn't put Israel into Palestinian land. They put Israel into the land that was part Jordan, part other thing, part other thing? Yeah, they divided that shit up. Okay, so it wasn't like they just threw Israel onto a country and said, you're not Israel. It's not like they put Israel into New Jersey and said, fuck New Jersey. No, no. So they they, they put, like, let's say this is, like, the area that was Palestine. They divided it up, and this is, like, all right, this is for the, you know, the group that wants to be Israel, and this is for the group that's Palestine. Okay. And then out of that, there was a war because the Arab nations around it weren't happy with that. So they all went against Israel. Israel won, and that's where they say, all right, because we won, we're a state, and this is our territory. And they actually took more back. So then it was, that's when the whole UN was trying to, like, negotiate, all right, like, let's set aside, you know, the lands for the Palestinians. Let's set aside lands for yourself. But it just never, like, they never came to, to like, a resolution. What happened is, is, like, Israelis are moving into that land and settling and, and kicking them off. Or, for example, like, we were, like, what was mentioned, I think, last week, like, they're evicting people out of those lands. Just think get the fuck out? Yeah, just think get the fuck out. Because they're saying that land is theirs, as promised from before. And then they're retaliating against people that aren't leaving. And then they're retaliating. So now what happens is now you have, like, like Hamas. Hamas is a... Depends on who you ask. It's either a terrorist group or a, a, a freedom-fighting group. Hamas is the Palestinians, right? Yeah. So they, they I think they're mainly focused on the Gaza Strip, which is, like, which is like on this side. Um, and they help fund like schools, hospitals, like just resources for Palestine, and help defend them, because obviously Israel is more technologically advanced. Yeah, because they, you know, I mean, they have funding from the U.S. I think Iran is who funds Palestine. Why? Don't, why doesn't Palestine have its own country? Like, it's wh- never recognized. As why a- isn't it? Why can't they figure that? Why can't they recognize Palestine and figure that shit out? Because this is like kind of well, crazy that these then, people don't. Because it's it's politics, man. Because if you recognize Palestine. As a country, then Israel's gonna be upset. He's like, wait, but that's our land. Yeah. Well, can't they do what they did with Israel and put Palestine somewhere in there and be like, All but right, the thing is, before Israel was in a country, after the the UN split that land apart, and after that war between the Arab nations and Israel, Israel declared itself independent state. We won, we won um our freedom basically. Yeah. And then they made a deal with the UN where their state and they gave back certain territories. Did, were, back to were, the, so some of those were any of those territories given back to Palestinians? Yes, but I think at that point it was it was Jordan. It was just territory Got that it. the British controlled. Got it. But then like all those nations split, you know, wanted their own independence. Yeah. So like it's kinda like when the Soviet Union fell apart. We have like Kazakhstan or like whatever the fucking Ukraine and shit like and Lithuania, all those shits. Like like that happened. Right. Like they've given land back. They tried to say, Okay, this is this is Palestine, this is this but Palestine doesn't want to recognize Israel as a state. And Palestine is saying, this is our land. Like, you can't, you, like, you're intruding into our, our house, not us intruding into yours. Are they saying that for the whole state of Israel or just part of it? Because if they're saying the whole state of Israel, if they're saying the whole thing doesn't count, that's crazy. But if they're saying that the part that there's this conflict in, and they're like, oh, this is our part, don't come, don't come in it, I might be able to see that, like, as a thing, because if they've been living there for this long already... And now the thing is, like people from, like back when this was the Ottoman Empire, there were Jews living there too. So they kind of both been living there forever. They just, they just it's just, just been the more UN just declared all right, Israel. <laughs> well, because again, the fucking Ottoman Empire, to- you know, fell apart. So that land had to be reorganized into whatever it got organized to. They just did a shit job at it. To this day, we're, they're still trying to figure out like how to, you know, what the hell we're gonna do with this. Well, they need they need to give Palestine some type of. And the, the Palestinian people, there's so many of them. There has to be a, a country of Palestine, I think. Yeah, or, there should be a. There country has to of be. I mean, if they have to take part of Israel, where there where there's more Palestinians being occupy occupying it, then 
than um, Jews or whatever in that spot, they might have to be like, all right, this is Palestine. Well, Israel Israel says that they they don't even have that much land. Like the side of land they have is the size of like El Salvador or New Jersey. And all the nations around them are all Arabic nations. Like, like I'm pretty sure none of those nations are cool with Israel. But the thing is, that's the holy area because that's where Je- the Jerusalem is. Yeah. And it's like a big area for the Arabic uh, community, Christian community, and, and Judaism. 